Through the GEP Supply Chain Volatility Index, we're tracking the worldwide demand and the supplier's capacity to meet this demand. We partner with S&P Global to survey 27,000 businesses monthly. We're now into our sixth consecutive month of notable excess capacity globally. But the good news is that it's not getting any worse. In fact, we see U.S. manufacturing stabilizing, indicating a soft landing for the economy. In stark contrast, recession alarm bells ring for Europe, with recent escalation of Middle East conflict, continued war in the Ukraine region. Suppliers are reporting the highest levels of spare capacity since 2008-2009 financial crisis. Asian suppliers reported highest spare capacity for the first time this year, suggesting manufacturers in the region are preparing to lower their production schedules. Unless the labor disputes in the healthcare, auto sector spread, or there is a spike in oil, or in ag commodities, we expect the U.S. suppliers and the businesses to be steady for the rest of the year. Learn more at gep.com slash volatility. I am Jagadish Tirumela, Chief Operating Officer and Co-Founder of GEP.